the Grand Tour is back for a second series the tent may well be permanently located exactly halfway between Richard Hammond and James May's houses, and, surely by pure chance, next door to Jeremy Clarkson's house, but the boys are still going on tour. And kicked things off this week in very grand fashion. The challenge was, quite simply, to find out which is best, the past, the present, or the future? Over to you, Jezza. We all know how that ends, quips Jeremy Clarkson as the first challenge of the new season is introduced. Yes we do with Hammond, Indiana in air ambulance, after crashing. Again. Things started out bang on form Clarkson, the Neanderthal, was representing the past, with the 730 horsepower Lamborghini Aventador ORS, all 6.5 liters of snorting, gasoline guzzling V12. In far from's utter bright yellow. James May, the Crispin contemporary, sophisticate of the trio, was showing off the present, with the hybrid Honda NSX. It has 581 horsepower, from combining a 3.5-liter twinturbo V6 with three electric motors. It can both run on electric and duo 60 mph in under 3.0 seconds. Hammond, we know, is in the future, the electric Rimic Concept 1. The Croatian company was founded by Mate Rimic, and Forbes described the firm as, a company that's cooler than Tesla. The Concept 1 is an electric supercar described as having around 1,200 horsepower. The location for the challenge was Switzerland. Rather improbably, the boys' base was a natural detox retreat. It was Ev driving Hammond who was in charge of the challenge, and he even chose the hotel, despite it not serving beer or anything tasty. What was he thinking? We can't imagine. Hold on, what's that in his hand? Naturally, after driving through beautiful mountains and discovering Hammond's plan to keep driving in between electric chargers, the boys decided to have a race. Clarkson was, of course, brimming with confidence, as his car was the lightest, and the noisiest, and the thirstiest. And the winner was? Well, we won't spoil it just yet, keep on clicking if you really want to find out. With an empty airfield to play with, Clarkson of course decided to then have a hoon. Which resulted in the destruction of one massive Lamborghini rear tire. The tire pressure warning light came on, he said. I ignored it. And then to the big finale, and that incident. Although you can't go circuit racing in Switzerland, you can go hill climbing. And it was only 200 miles from the hotel. Which was fine, for some of us, says Clarkson. As for Hammond's range limited ev, well, people don't ride their racehorses to the Grand National, do they, he muses. They finally got there, too, the most beautiful hill climb event in the world. First up, Clarkson, who discovered he couldn't actually fit in the big Lambo with a helmet on. But who's that over there? Why, it's Lamborghini test driver Giacomo Bari, who has curly hair and looks a bit like an early 1990s SPEC Clarkson. Jezza had a plan. May was next, sauntering up the hill with inevitably the slowest time to his name. Then, Hammond Indiana the Rimic, but first, a pep talk from Clarkson and May, about how the whole of Croatia was there expecting him to set a new course record. This was Hammond's face just before he set off. And this was the result. Yes, that crash, another Hammond crash, with another air ambulance summoned for him. But did he get the fastest time before crashing after the finish line? Again, we won't spoil it you'll just have to and find out. Celebrity brain crashes no more. You all hated it, said Clarkson. Instead, it's a new spot, celebrity face-off, where two people working in the same field go head-to-head -head in a Jaguar F-Type Coupe a 300 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo. This week, which is the fastest former talent show judge, Ricky Wilson or David, the Hoff, Hasselhoff. Kaiser Chiefs Wilson looked pretty handy on the new celebrity face-off course, which is part tarmac, part gravel. The Hoff, meanwhile, was less handy. On his practice lap, he stopped just shy of the finish line, for no discernible reason. He did get better on his timed lap, you'll have to head over to Amazon Prime to find out just how well he did. Oh, and that drag strip race? Yes, it was the Rimic that won, by a ludicrous margin. It's worth tuning in just to see how much faster than the Lambo and Honda it is. The future wins this challenge can it be the past and the present to grab overall spoils in the Grand Tour's first season 2 challenge, though?